Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about uh, daily uh, stock market review and we will see, we will figure out is it bullish or bearish what's going on with the stock market today let's start it, let's move to trading view if you want to learn more about trading view setup just go to the description, there is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings uh, let's start it. I, uh, let me briefly mention about my setup. I have I use buy and sell script. I'm using moving averages. White line is MA200, yellow line MA20, and what, red line MA10, and green line MA5. Volume and MACD indicator. Only one indicator. Green line is a MACD line. It changed it, when it's bullish, and when it's bearish, it changed to red line. It's a, it's a bearish direction MACD. White line is a signal line. Uh, this this line in between it's, it should be should be yellow, but it's it's for some reason it's it's blue. Let me change to yellow. I don't know why it's why it's not yellow. Now it's yellow. Okay, yellow it's a zero line between bullish and bearish uh, zone. Okay, we are ready. Spy, spy daily time frame, and remember for for uh, for swing trading, I'm using daily and four hours time frame. For uh, we don't we don't, I don't fight, fight with the market. We follow the market. If market change direction, we change direction. Now market is bullish, right? Daily time frame, bullish trend. MACD in the green, green line, green line. It's a bullish trend. It closed below MA5, but still bullish trend, no changes so far, no, no bearish confirmation yet. MA20 did bullish crossover over white line, over, over 200, it's a bullish, strong bullish signal. It has bearish divergences, it has bearish divergence only one on the, on the hist MACD histogram. Price action is uptrend, but histogram is downtrend, right? That's what we, we observe on the histogram. Uh, volume is decreasing also. Uh, that's all. Let's move to... Yeah, and remember, yeah, like three days ago, I mentioned that we, it was very far from MA20. It definitely wants to connect to MA20 before it can move to uh, uh, any other direction. Still bullish on daily time frame. No changes. For hours. For hours we received sell signal already, right? On daily, we didn't get sell signal. It was in the buy mode from from January 23rd. It was in the buy mode and it's still in the buy mode on daily time frame. No sell. On four hours, we like 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 yeah. Previous previous bar we received sell signal already, and we the last bar closed below May 10. MACD already for bearish crossover. It's already did bearish crossover. And it has bearish divergences, right? And bearish crossover. It's a bearish signal. Bearish signal. On 4 hours, SPY has bearish signal. It wants bearish reversal signal. Let's move to 1 hour. 1 hour, it's already bearish since Friday, right? Since it's a bearish since uh, February 3rd. From February 3rd, it's a bearish. From last Friday, it's a bear in a bearish mode and no changes in one hour, it's still bearish. Let's move to... Let's move to Q's. Q's daily time frame. Q's daily time frame. Similar story like SPY. Uh, last bar touched the May 5. Um, MACD is still bullish, still green, green line. Still, we yeah, are still all bars above the all moving averages. It has bearish divergences on the MACD histogram. Similar, bullish price action is uptrend. The, uh, the, MACD histogram is downtrend, bearish divergences. Uh, let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours we received sell signal, right? On daily for Qs we didn't have, we had buy signal since, it was buy signal since 
uh, January 23rd. And we didn't get any sell signal yet on, on the four hours time frame. We already received sell signal. And MACD is ready for bearish crossover. Didn't conform yet, but it's ready for it. Uh, it has bearish divergences on the histogram. On the histogram, it has bearish divergences. Um, that's all. Sell signal, still no confirmation. It wants to go bearish, but no, no final confirmation yet. Let's move to one hour. Q's a little bit stronger than, than SPY. One hour, MACD red, it's a bearish trend. Uh, MA5 intended bearish crossover, last bar still below MA5 and 10 and 20. Bearish trend, bearish signal on one hour for Qs. Let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones daily. Dow Jones daily. MA5, uh, MACD ready for bearish crossover. Last bar close below MA20. Below my 5, 10 and 20. E 20, right? And MACD ready for bearish crossover with the bearish with the bearish uh, divergences. It has multiple divergences, bearish divergences on the MACD and bearish divergences on the MACD histogram. The price action was yeah, uptrend, but MACD, MACD is downtrend. That's what we observed. Uh, ready for bearish, ready for bearish on daily time frame. On 4 hours time frame, it's already bearish, right? MACD already turned to red, it's already bearish. And MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and last bar close uh, stopped at MA20. On 4 hours time frame, Dow Jones already bearish. Already bearish, let's move to 1 hour. 1 hour, it has buy signal. Uh, MACD is still red, it didn't conform any bullish, but script already, my file already did bullish crossover over 10. Looks like it wants to go bullish, it wants to have bullish, bullish correction on one hour time frame. But on MACD is still bearish, still red. That's what we have for, for Dow Jones. Let's move to IWM, Russell 2000. Russell 2000 daily time frame. Price action uptrend, the last bar close below MA5. MACD is still green, still green line. Price action uptrend, but yeah, MACD histogram has bars downtrend, right? Bearish divergence, it wants to have some correction. On daily time frame still bullish. Let's move. To, let's move to four hours. Four hours. Uh, similar story. Sell script on this. On the on the on the on the chart on the moving averages. Last bar closed below my five and ten. Still kind of bullish. No, my five didn't make bearish crossover yet. MACD is already. Ready for bearish crossover on four hours time frame. Uh, MACD histogram has bearish divergences, wants to have correction. It's ready for bearish reversal signal on four hours. Let's move to one hour. One hour it's still bearish, the last bar is still below MA5, 10 and 20, and it's in a bearish mode, no changes. Let's move to Apple. Apple. Apple daily time frame. Uh, still above all moving averages. MA5 and, and, and 10 did bullish crossover over 200. Apple still in a bullish trend. Uh, Apple MACD still has green line. Green line on MACD indicator. And bearish divergences on the histogram. Bearish divergences on MACD histogram. Price action still uptrend. 
That's what we have. Still bullish on daily time frame with bearish divergences. Four hours. Four hours for Apple. Four hours for for Apple. Actually, yeah, it has very small divergences. Very small bearish divergences. Uh, no confirmation. Still bullish. MACD is still green. Still bullish trend. No changes on four hours. Let's move to one hour. One hour it's a bearish, right? Already. The sell script gave us the signal. Uh, last bar close. Um, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar close below MA10, 5 and 20. It's a bearish signal. Bearish signal on one hour time frame for Apple. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla on daily time frame. Price action is uptrend, bullish trend. MACD is still green, bullish. No changes. Let's move to 4 hours, 4 hours. It's also bullish, no changes. The volume is decreasing on 4 hours time frame. And uh, today is very low volume. MACD has bearish divergences, yeah, only volume bearish divergences, only MACD bearish, very bearish divergences. And MACD line wants to have bearish crossover. So far, still bullish on 4 hours and daily time frame. Let's move to 1 hour. 1 hour, it has already bearish, it has already bearish signal. May 5 did bearish crossover over 10. And Still kind of in a buy signal in the script. MACD already has bearish signal. Volume is decreasing every day. Volume is decreasing every day, right? Bearish signal in one hour. Let's move to BABA. Baba daily time frame. Baba bearish on daily time frame. Last bar close below MA5, 10 and 20. It's kind of far from MA20. We'll see if it will if it gets any correction. Bearish divergences on the on the on the volume. Bearish trend on MACD. Red uh, the MACD line is red on daily time frame. Let's check on 4 hours, 4 hours for BABA. Four hours in the same mode, so 4 hours in the same mode. Sell signal, last bar close below MA5, 10 and 20. And uh, MACD green, red, I'm sorry, MACD, MACD red and it closed, it did bearish crossover about zero line it's in a bearish zone now it's in this in a bearish zone and four hours time frame also bearish let's check one hour one hour one hour one hour price action was yeah was downtrend bearish but magdi has bullish divergences bullish divergences on one hour time frame, it wants to have correction, it wants to go bullish. And if I5 ready for bullish crossover. Ready for bullish crossover. It can have like a similar like here, it was correction, right? It, it did go up and after that it, it went down. Could be the same. But we can we can call it bull trap, short bull bull trap, right? Because why it's not it's not a bullish because MA20 did bearish crossover. MA20 did bearish crossover over 200. For me, it's a bearish trend. Even that it will move up, it will be bull trap. It will be bull trap for a short time because the MA20 is still in a bearish trend and it did bearish crossover. It's very powerful. MA20 very powerful. Remember it. 
it should not be bullish it should continue to go bearish even if it do, if it if it's going to do some some bull run for short term that's all that's all let's do let's do summary let's do summary for all indexes all indexes still bullish on daily time frame no changes indexes if you trade on a daily time frame no changes indexes still bullish if you are trading on a short term short time frame like one hour four hours indexes already gave a sell signal gave already gave a sell signal please use stops uh collect uh, yeah, save your profit because market can can change direction to to bearish very quickly it gave us already bearish reversal signal on four hours time frame and one hour time frame all indexes already bearish be be ready for market for uh market to change direction to bearish it that's all that's all for today please uh please read disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only thank you for watching simple trading style video i do publish daily updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe for all my channels and click like button to support youtube channel i really appreciate all your efforts thank you so much and good luck bye now